whatever Dr. Mirisha said, whatever Dr. Vengeshul said, now the network has been doing this since 10 years. Now we have, I will probably say, in the network we have proof of concept. Uh, not in an isolated, small, small way. We have 2,000 crore rupees of public investment, partnership with the governments in four or five states, say uh, the Odisha Millet Mission. Now is a, is a comprehensive uh, program which deals with uh, millets in plates, in, uh, in uh, production systems, how to improve productivity, how to improve uh, the, the processing units and all that, and consumption and everything. Then uh, the AP drought mitigation project, uh, now is a thousand crore project, which actually builds all these elements into this thing. Now it's on ground. So one particular aspect that is coming uh, across is the diversity and decentralization as the key principles of uh, no, acknowledgement and action. Now that is coming through the entire discussion. Uh, then the second important thing is the marginality of the rain feds. So the entire agriculture policy is bunched as one. So within that, within that larger uh, discourse of, uh, uh, of uh, agriculture policy, the so rain feds are marginalized. Now if you invest uh, in rain fed lands, on water with a perspective of support irrigation, productive irrigation, that can add 12% increase in the productivity. So, uh, and that also means incomes uh, uh, increase. We need to think about irrigation differently in rain feds, in the markets, in the livelihood system. Integration is the key word. A project in, uh, with the uh, state government in uh, Odisha, in Malkangiri. How you encourage people to take more and more uh, options? The contours of the new paradigm, what is relevant for rain fed is has come out in these discussions very clearly, very sharply. Another major impact that came up was rain fed areas are underinvested. There is no single window to access money. You know, there is no single window uh, of investments with a perspective, with a, with a, with a paradigmatic uh, principles to support rain fed agriculture. And then we probably say we have the proof of concept across the states in the rain fed areas. Now, can we, can we sort of you know, think through this, this kind of a framework where we rethink about the technology, what are the options, think about the investment structures, rethink, rethink about the capacities, and then can we sort of demonstrate at scale? Sanari is a leader in this, you know, you'll be working in 150 districts. Can, can, we, can we sort of construct based on this, this evidence available, uh, put it into operation, so that at least by next year or somewhere, we would like to see a, a, a rain fed areas program in, with, a, with a different framework. Know, coming up uh, into and uh, taking a mainstream uh, stage you know, at some point which will actually run the course for the next 10 years or 5 years you know, uh, that would be making substantial impact on the farmers distress. We need to shift to a new paradigm. What is the paradigm? The elements are available, the, the evidence is available, the science is uh, there to back up, the protocols are developed, investment structures one can see from the existing thing. Can we put them together and uh, you know, on your plates are to decay forward. Thank you.